Well, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Hi, Ada. There's a chance we're gonna have to, uh, get out of here in a, in a bit, so give me a second. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Hot. Real, real, like, lava molten hot, full support. Sure. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. Hmm. Comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? Aww. It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Well, it sounds like she likes you. If, you know... If she wasn't just randomly sending a poem to someone she barely knows for the sake of sending a random poem. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. Understandable. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. <laughs> You're about the warmest person I ever met to hell with them. Well... There's a lot to say about this. There's a lot to unpack here. I'm just gonna say you're about the worst person I ever met to hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel. Who's... Who's Isabel? Oh, no. Well, that went downhill fast. Oh, God. Uh, is everything okay? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Alright. They were close... They were close? Not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? Great idea. Drinking solves everything. Uh... Wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person? Honestly, <laughs> I have way too much curiosity to just go for the the logical, sensible route. Drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. All right. Drinks are on me. Let's go and then regret it. But maybe not because maybe you'll, you know, actually talk about some, you know, talk about your feelings. All right, everybody. I figure it's best to get this out of the way before we walk up to June Lei in person again. Uh, where's the lost hope? There we go. Drinks on me. So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? <laughs> Look, we just we just go up to the lady, and say, "Hey, alcohol." And then it happens. Any face. What's your pleasure, stranger? Let's see. Let me see what you got for sale. What ain't I got? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We could get ourselves some purple berry wine, Spectrum vodka. Sounded like it was the good stuff. We'll get some Spectrum vodka. Three drinks on me. All right. How do I? 
She actually does bring up a good point. How do I actually do this mission? Uh, I guess I just talked to her. <laughs> That's fair. Save in case everything goes bad. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Hmm. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. I'd start with beer, but you said an edge water. The smell made you sick. How about wine? Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. No, fuck it. We're going all in on bad choices. All right. If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is efficient. Well, drunk's what I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Bottoms up. Didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. Oh, no, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. I just didn't expect it to taste like... Oh, propellant. Oh, stars, I can feel it settling. Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? <laughs> uh, going on a grand adventure across Halcyon? Uh, I'll start with this. Specifically. Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh. Oh, why'd I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Hmm. Beats me, I got a rough track record with relationships. Yeah, can't help you here. No. Start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Hmm. <laughs> What's she actually writing the message? You haven't said that. That's, that's me. I'm kind of like, uh... Yeah. No one sends terrible, vaguely sensual pench poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I'm gonna ask this. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? What is this really about? Perception. I'd say no, I don't think so. But let's go for perception. I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Right. Okay. Let's get you some water. Ugh. Oh, gosh, I feel for her. The logical thing for her would be to not be drinking this problem away and to, to think about it a little bit more straightforward logically. But we're all in. Same as before. <laughs> no more whiskey. I think another would leave me on the floor. That's smart. Wine it is. Gosh, that smells pretty almost. Like flowers gone a little off. Down it goes. Hey, that's... That's not so bad. Kind of almost nice, maybe. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Mm, what about me? Get the fuck out of here. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Hmm. Don't stop there. You're on a roll. Well, there's an easy way to get answers to all these questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Uh, then I don't know, you... Let's see, what, what are the options here? I would, like, for me, I'd say... Yeah, if she's not, she's not. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, 
Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? So you're afraid of disappointing her? You can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. Uh, this is like what I think. But it's also a little bit of a mix of, you know, like, uh, I, I want to be comforting to her. This one sounds like it could potentially be taken as cold. I'll say, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is, no matter their quirks. <laughs> no, I am who I am. No, everyone is, no matter who, no matter their quirks. Huh. I'd never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Mm. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been, this has been a whole lot. I got just, wow, so much to think about. So are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you? Think I should? Mm. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. What does the booze tell you? I'll go for Persuade. Persuade 15. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna do it. Right when we get back to the shit. Ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. <laughs> Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what do you mean, Bravati? We got the ship! That's a place to be real quiet. Take Parvati back to the ship. Oh god, we just gotta keep going back and forth. Alright, fine. I was just about to go straight to June Lee. Good, you're back. Not that I missed you. I assure you, I am not capable of such emotional capacity. Sure, Ada. I believe ya. Remember. Items in the hold may shift during takeoffs and landings. Hey, Pravati. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to give my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. Well, yeah, that's that's good. Did you uh you talked to Jun Lee? I messaged Jun Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. <laughs> Not to ask for spoilers, but we'll be drinking again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. So Jun Lee does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. All right. Nice. So, um... What are we going to do about the fact that I'm taking on a potential life and death trip across the the colony? That's uh that's the real worrisome part. 
logically, I'd say, you know, stay here, stay on the Groundbreaker, but you know, it's, it's up to you. It's not like I want you on my ship or anything as part of my crew as my first companion who, you know, my first friend in, 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 in this solar system. Uh, let's, 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 let's head back, I guess. All right. Well, that worked out positively for her. I was real worried that it was going to be like, ah, she just got rejected, and now you kind of have to deal with the consequences of you goading her on. But it seems like everything worked out. Awesome. Now let's get the heat off this ship. And this off the ship. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for... Hey, Jin Lee. returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Well, I got the parts of the radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. Where the mantis There's a terminal in the back. things are? Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Right. Define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. Uh, all right, I'll go down. Well, don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you too. All right. Let's see. Happiness is a warm spaceship. I think we got to go back over here. You've missed three shifts without notice. I was fixing that toilet you sent me to repair. The one above the Lost Hope? That was days ago. The fucking door! It locked behind me. And it wasn't until this freighter captain found me that I... You're lucky the chief would have my ass if I spaced you. Now get back to work, Private. Right away, sir. <laughs> it's true! I did, in fact, have to unlock the, uh... The place he was at. Got me a more Adreno. Gotta be able to heal myself. Yeah, huh? Mm, another conversation option just yet. Huh. All right. How are we going to deal with this? Oh, I didn't go to the workbench like I was planning on doing. The controls are in the back of the machinery shaft area. Keep clear of the radiators. You don't need to but I did. I've got this thing about giant insects. Oh, don't worry. I definitely am killing this swarm. Whoa! Oh god, it like blinded us! Just like that. Here I go! Oh no, per <laughs> Pervati and Ellie got swapped around on the buttons. That's gonna be annoying. Hey, you don't mind if I blow up your explosive barrels, right? We didn't really establish if those were important for you guys or not. Huh, what the fuck is a manta swarm? Besides the obvious- Ah, oh, God! Everything's burning! Huh, okay. These manta pillars don't have anything on them for me to take, Jesus. Maybe I should access this terminal over here. Nah. We'll do it on the way out. The security mechanicals booted up and killed a bunch of mantis. Bad news. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Right. Sneak fast if you can. Shoot back if you need to. I can always fix them later. Okay, well, um, you say sneak. I will try my best, but, you know... Actually, I was gonna say, I'd have, I don't have that many points in a sneak, but no! I'm actually... I'm, I'm actually a little, a little of the ways there. Sneaking action time. 
I think I have the ability to hack them now, too. We'll see. <gasps> hey. Hey, girls. How's it going? I can't jump over the railing, no! How do I hack this damn thing? I still don't know how. Is there like a port that I hold E on or something? All oh, right, the glowy bits, the blue stuff, right? Hmm. Hold on. Maybe there's a journal entry in the codex about hacking and combat. Stealth. Yeah, I, I I don't know. We know how to loot. Oh, you know what? We just don't have it available. I still need to put six, uh, ten points into it. Next level, then. Got it, Jun Lee. Maybe I can turn off the bots as well? Cycle drop the pumps. Non expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. Cycling. Successful. Nice. The staff is getting restless. Workaround and half cock solutions are all we've got to mend Groundbreaker's bones. In, ma in many cases, we can't revive one system without cannibalizing another. Grandma lived with that reality, and so will I. I can rally our spirits. But what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take that bet. Cobble together. No, no plans, any problems. Found some of Chief Guying's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a, a beating during the crossing because she spent half of her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my docks. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells, isolating, and infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the guts of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Aww. But hold on. The temperatures are dropping. A whole ass hangar? Stop by once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you thanks. Uh, you have my interest. Okay, when he, when this guard walks back around, we'll go for this door and unbar it. There. By sneaking past these bots, I have saved them the effort of having to repair them. I mean, they'll still have to repair them for their logic modules, but they won't have to, you know, literally put them back together. Which, hey, you're welcome. That wasn't so bad. I just felt like sneaking once in a while. Archived logs and transmissions. Arrival confirmation. To HHB, Earth HQ, transmitted via probe. Archived at source. It is my honor to report that the Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. 
Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair stop, and cargo bay. I'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. A stern reminder. Some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a spacer's cargo uh, choice logo stamped on my ass. It wasn't a nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or future of Halcyon's corporate entities. Period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or, or compromise our independence, they will answer to a Tennyson. We're a family operation, even when the last Tennyson falls. Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. And then that that's it, yeah. Well, they've kept it up and running for 70 plus years, so... I wonder what June Lee would think if she found out that I was on their sister ship, the Hope. Not that we really have any memories of things. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Nope. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, I'll be on my way then. Groundbreaker reputation increased. To any kind of significant degree, Groundbreakers are now friend friendly. Cool. Well, uh... Hey, that's impressive! Just gonna go ahead and break into here. You don't mind me stealing parts from your girlfriend. <laughs> right? All right. Well, now they've cleaned out your your uh, girlfriend's apartment and you not saying anything about it. Nice. Let's take our leave. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crew jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. <laughs> Damn it, Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Why? What's going on? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three... Two, one and a half, no. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. <laughs> All right, well, I can, I can fix it. Why are you about to lose the comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The events forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That signal's part of how Groundbreaker stays autonomous and independent. Much as I'd love to hear fewer corporate jingles, this would be bad. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Okay, I mean, I guess I could go. Uh, how are you cut off by losing one relay station? I understand it already, but I'll ask. Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the Groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. Okay, what about the other auxiliary relay stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. And why can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can and they do. But only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corp will authorize sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. Uh... And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. 
Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul, anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate-owned nor board-controlled. Our comms are neutral. Well, sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online, but god, these corporations fucking up everything for us. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Hmm. I can check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Call that leisure oh, reading, Oh, and I'll sure. need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Wait, you just let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Right, well, I guess we gotta head out. Alright, I don't think there's anything directly left for us on this station. I think everything requires us to now head on out. Talk to Dr. Wanda Dorsey and the sick bay. Claim the bounty's reward. And then the other ones require me to travel. Okay. Let's go talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset. I don't want your borst beans. Hello. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. <gasps> it's not you, it's me. <laughs> have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? That's one way to put it. If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Hmm. Wheeler says that your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Outlaws sounds like what I'm wanting to deal with right now, honestly. All right, let's go turn in this bounty to uh, Sunita. And then I think it's time to choose a few different places we could go. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. I shot him a little bit. I only kill humanely. Ah, good news. I killed Captain McCreed, and I roughed him up a bit before I did him in. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Sweet. And now I'm gonna leave. Ooh, what up? All right. 
So I believe I was going to throw all of my points into lock picking so that I could get the see what is inside lock containers, which honestly will be pretty beneficial. I'm going straight forward. And then the rest of my points for the next like two or three levels is going to end up going to either tech or dialogue. Dialogue's probably the better option. Because now we're just talking and dealing with so many people. I'm just looking at all the different things we could be going for here. Plasma damage gets boosted by science. Ooh. And then if I had crazy medical, which currently we actually have a huge amount of medical, 70, we can get extra bonuses. All right, I wonder we got perks to buy. Hmm, significantly reduces the weight of consumables. That also sounds like it'll be pretty helpful. Because uh, we're constantly filling up on on stuff here, and it's honestly, a lot of it's going to be the consumables. <sighs> oh, I'm so greedy. Oh, I'm so conflicted. TTD before, uh, per kill sounds pretty awesome. Because then I can get both health and TTD, which would give me a lot of combat options, especially since I do have the 25% dam physical damage nerf. And then I'm going to immediately regret this, because my inventory is going to be super full all the time. Uh, hello. Uh, June Lei called up from engineering, said I should let you buy medical supplies from our stores. Uh, Dr. Fenhill, I hope you're not here to harass any of our patients. Harassing? Come on, I was trying to help Jesse. You have a creative definition of helping. Then it's lucky for us both that I've found gainful employment with someone who appreciates my ingenuity. Good luck with this one, Captain. Now, is there something I can help you with? Let's see what we've got. A better selection than you'll find on the promenade deck. And a quality commensurate with a friend of the station. Okay. Ooh. Medical skill wares. Nothing I truly want, but nice. Bonus to extra... Uh, to headshot and weak spot damage, 25%. Critical damage from snipers, nice. Boost my, ar my armor rating. One thing I'm worried about is drug effects. There are definitely some drugs in this that probably... Like, reduce... Or, like, that, you know, we can get addicted to... Which makes me pretty wary about using them. Hmm. I got a 50% discount and a ton of money burning in my pocket. I'll buy a couple of these. Eh, if I get four. If I run into a tough fight, then we'll, sp we'll we'll spam headshot damage. And I should probably sell some stuff. What seems to be a better sell? Sell. Oh my God! Holy shit! Montag. Oh, the flamethrower, right?
Dialogue skills plus five. I should probably wear this around, uh, around places like this, just in case we ever want to talk to people. There's tech skills for the laboratory outfit, melee weapon skills, don't really care about those. Lock picking skills are nice. Alright, let's head back to the unreliable. It's time for us to check out a few other places.